Hey, Paul. This is just a review of the routine we did yesterday together, just uh, to remind you and uh, to give you some pointers when you do it. So it's going to be three to four rounds of the whole thing. Like we did, you do one set, then you catch your breath. In between exercises, um, they call it moving with purpose. So that means you're not huffing and puffing. You can take 10, 15 seconds and then move on to the next exercise, but there's no rush. Okay. So the first one is going to be lunges. Like yesterday, just keep in mind, it's two steps. So foot comes down, your knee comes down, then you come up, reset, foot catches, knee down, come up. Okay, stay as tight as possible, so don't loosen up, don't arch, don't overly curl up. This is going to be about eight per leg, and you're alternating. Next, you have a um, squat with a dumbbell reach. So you start with the dumbbell around your torso, you push it out, and then you come back in. Okay, so this is going to allow you to stay more upright. Shoulders stay down, so you're not shrugging up like this. You're keeping your shoulders down. And this is going to be for 12 reps. You can do it with a very light weight. We did it with the five pounds here, but you can do it with a water bottle or something of that sort. It doesn't need to be very heavy, but you, ideally you should be able to extend the arms fully out. Next is going to be the ground press. Like you mentioned, I think you have only one weight. So what you can do is just brace yourself. Other arm stays on the chest. You're going to do the same movement. And try to keep the opposite shoulder on the ground as much as you can. So it's down here. I don't want to twist like this. So opposite shoulder down and press. So this is going to be 10 to 12. Once you're done, you go to the other side. Since you don't have rings, uh, you're going to do ring row, dumbbell ring rows. Okay. So you're going to have one foot next to the weight, the other one directly behind. So another view. One foot next to the weight, the one, the other one directly behind. You're gonna lean over onto your elbow or onto your palm, whatever feels more comfortable. I, I prefer the elbow. You're gonna keep your back straight, okay? So don't curl up, don't hunch over. You're gonna keep your back straight. So what you can do is just split squat, lower yourself straight, brace yourself. You're gonna pull the weight into the armpit and the elbow comes back. Okay, so this is gonna be ideally about 10 to 12, but depending on the weight you have, uh, you might be, you might have to do more. And for everything, just a reminder, try to keep two or three reps in reserve. So if you're doing 12 squats, physically you're able to do 15. If you're doing 12 bent over row, physically you should be able to do 15 as well. So this is just a precaution to make sure that the weight isn't too heavy or too light, and it's just at a medium intensity. And before your session, what I would suggest is, as usual, do cars, controlled uh, articulation rotation. So it's just, you're gonna move your wrists, move your elbows a bit. You can bend, unbend, move your shoulders a bit. Some rotations, I know rotations are a little bit rough for you. If you want, you can do it seated, like on the ground or literally on a chair, just so it's more restricted. But try to do a little bit, not too fast, not too aggressive, but this is essential. I know it's a little bit rough around the back. Just do a little bit, it shouldn't be um, too demanding. Then the hips, then the knees, then the ankles. So you do about 15 minutes of just rotating hips, knees, shoulders, wrists, elbows. And uh, after those 15 minutes, you do four sets. Um, like I said, try to do it maybe once or twice before the next time you see me. The next session will be a little slightly more complicated, uh, slightly more advanced. That way, when you're going to be on your own, you'll have these videos and you will be able to cycle from the first to the second to the third. And then once you're done, go back to the first. And I'll uh, help you uh, make it a little bit more difficult if you're able to consistently perform uh, these sessions. Uh, I'll give you a way to make the exercises slightly harder without uh, needing too much equipment. So hopefully that helps you out. Thank you very much and I'll see you next week.